court vision has been on display in this one. He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense beautifully. Horford finds White. There's Brown with the three. That shot, no good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. And now here comes Young leading the break. This is one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. Six for six, and he's got the miss from the field. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. Still going hard, and that kind of energy and effort is how they built this lead. White. The shot's good. Brown making the play. White's got 18 points. Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. Young is double. Johnson down low. Arkin on him. And then Johnson with the dunk. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his balance. Now a timeout called by Boston. And how about Jalen Brown, part of that young four for the Celtics? Yeah, he's been through a lot with this young group of guys. They've grown together, they've come in together, and they've gotten better together. And you've seen the production of Brown increase because of it. Robert Williams is checked in for Derek White. And then for Atlanta, Royce O'Neal's checked in for Johnson. And Griffin subbed in for DeJounte Murray. Pass to Horford. And a dunk by Horford. No chance to shut that one down. Horford's reach made that play unstoppable. Knocked loose and taken away by Brown. There's the feed to Horford. Nice pass. Oh, Run him to the rack perfectly for the layup. From Brown. And it's nine points for Horford. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Williams with the block. Marking in against Griffin. Here's Brown. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Oh, getting the hoop and the arm. That's tremendous body control from Brown. Smart's checked in for Boston. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for the Hawks. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. It's his third foul of the game. Third personal foul. First team foul. Okongwu, the pass to O'Neal. Outside for Griffin. The pass to Batum. And just miss after miss right now. Boston's gone 2 of 5 with a three point shot since coming out of the break. Horford finds Williams. It's Brown on the wing. And here's Smart, guarded by O'Neal. A three. Offensive rebound. Smart on the wing. From past the arc. Good. And a nice assist for Williams. Smart's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Now, here's Smart. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around 9.5 points a game. Fires the three. The shot, no good. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. Passes it to O'Neal. To the inside. Okongwu shot is good. Six points for Onyeka Okongwu. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Here's Smart. Trains the three-pointer. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Okongwu with the elbow. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Okongwu's now got eight. And you're not going to pass up that kind of move. Pass to Tatum. You're smart. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Young is double. Pass to Griffin. Williams with the block. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. The ball. And the Celtics making a change here. Dunn's checked in. And then for Atlanta, Robert Covington comes in for Okongwu. 
And Harris subbed in for Trey Young. Here's Griffin. No good that time. Great D that time from Tatum. And with his team trying to trim this margin, his struggles this quarter, eh, they're not helping things. Atlanta's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And the wide open shot from Griffin. Atlanta again missing. No other way to put it. Just a rough quarter in terms of scoring. He has not been helping at all. Here's Horford. From outside, off the mark. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep. Pass the break. And Covington. the dunk by Covington. The assist. Nice ball movement there. Royce That's how you break down the defense. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Let's it go with a three. Horford missing again. Oh, man, for whatever reason, he can't get it going from three, and he's pretty good from there. Harris passes to Griffin. Back to Harris for the three. Rebound, Boston. Horford's got his fourth rebound in this one. From deep. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Boston, leading by a full 31 points at the end of... 82, the Hawks, 51. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a come back in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters you spent two seasons Richard with LeBron James in Cleveland what was it like to play with LeBron well I like to think that LeBron was playing with me the entire time that's the way I viewed it but it was amazing. I should have reworded that I'm sorry thank, my mistake thank, thank you I, I think LeBron James was outstanding to play with just from a camaraderie standpoint and he always wanted to make the right pass which you know for pundits they complain about it but for a teammate you love it you love playing with a guy that tries to play the right way night in and night out his understanding of the game must be off the charts correct it, it is so ridiculous the way that he just sees the game before it's happening he is easily one of the smartest players that i have ever been around the post tandem it's Horford and Williams Jalen Brown out there was smart, and it's Tatum in at the small forward. That's the Boston Five. Now here is Horford. Good, and smart gets the assist. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Boston. The Hawks have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Now here's Williams. Nicholas Batum unable to get his shot to go. Back to Orphan. Inside. Good. Nice job down low. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution. And what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. <laughs> Honestly, if you're the defense, you should be ashamed not coming up with a steal on that pass. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Mike Muscala is checked in for Horford. Molinari comes in for Tatum. And Derek White subbed in for Brown. Chris Dunn's checked in for Derek White. Chris Dunn. The 10 footer. Williams with the block. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. And that one, good. Showing that aggressive nature. Williams competes hard, doesn't back down, and he'll let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contact. Now here is Holiday. Covington shot is off. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. Here's Williams. Plays it up off the glass. You know, when Williams gets positioned inside, he just looks to dominate physically, and then he shows you the skill set on top of it. Here's Covington. Off target with his three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their play. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. And so here's Atlanta following the bucket by the Celtics. 
and it's good two points. And we've always talked about Batoon's instincts. You see it right there on the offensive glass. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It just seems Richard like Robert Williams is a guy willing to do anything to help his team. And there's a whole lot he can do. His defense has never been a question. He can dish it. He's an aggressive rebounder. And look, his effort level, that's something you don't ever question. Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. Jalen Brown comes in for Dunn. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Okongwu is checked in for Robert Covington. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a player. Did it come easy for you? Or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook. You know, the grind, but when you love the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until you start getting a little longer in the two. Williams can't hit. And it's Harris with the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. Unloads. The Hawks again can't hit. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers, but maybe just a little bit more resistance. The kick out to Tatum. Launches it. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Atlanta's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. The kick out to Holiday. The pass to Okongwu. That one's not going to go. For Boston, they've gone 7 of 9 from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. And here's Brown outside. Atlanta with the rebound. Right side, Holiday. Passes to Batum. Harris outside. Holiday. Celtics foul. Robert Williams. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Atlanta, Aaron Holiday. At the and the first one at the line is good. Gallinari, he's checked in for the Celtics. Both free throws good from Holiday. Greg, we're seeing more fines recently for the language that players use with the media. Is that a concern? I don't think it should be a, a, a concern, and, and I'm not kidding. The, the league's going to have standards of the calm. You're, you're on TV. You got to keep it together. However, I think that as a society, we're a little more tolerant of certain words that are used in public. And they're bringing you up close and personal in the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Celtics. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And for the year now, they'll have 52 wins under the belt. And you could tell they were ready for this one today, guys. There was something extra on the line, and they wanted it. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Jalen Brown. He was just dropping dimes left and right out there. Any opening that the D provided, he exploited it and found his teammates. And here's Martin after Marcus Smart got his shot to go from deep. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Back to Tatum. Beyond the arc. And again, Boston with the triple. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. And the basket by Krejci. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Here's Brown. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Personal foul. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Free throw good from Brown. Brown, now an elite scorer in this league, really does it all. Poked away. He swipes the ball away again. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. 
big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure.